Hi everyone. In this live session, we are going to compare two numbers that is 40 to the power of 39 and 39 to the power of 40. So what do you think? Which one is greater and which one is smaller? Whatever you think may be an unexpected solution. So let's find out. So what should we do? How should we compare this two numbers? Uh, so what are we going to do is this should be let's let's write it down as division division of these two numbers so and then we can compare it to one so let's write it down that is 40 to the power of 39 over 39 to the power of 40 now this can be compared to one so now whenever you have this term if this term is greater than one then this is greater than this this is how we do it now this fraction if this fraction equals to one then this equals to this and if this is lesser than one then this is less than this so this is how we're going to compare this fraction to one but how can we do this it's too complicated right so can you take a look at the exponents what we have we have 39 we have 40 we can turn this exponent 40 into 39 how by writing it like this so you have 40 to the power of 39 over you can write this as 39 to the power of 39 times 39 now this 39 has a power of 1 so when you have same basis you can add the powers yes now you have the same thing with the same exponents 39 39 so let's write it like that 40 over 39 whole to the power of 39 into you have 1 over 39 so i'm going to write that 1 over 39 now what do you see you have 39 39 39 three times it appears so now we can convert 40 also in terms of 39 40 can be written as 1 plus 39 so magic let's write it down yes so you can write it as 1 plus 1 over 39 whole to the power of 39 times 1 over 39 because 1 plus 39, 39 over 39 is 1, and that's 1 over 39, whole to the power of 39. So now, this also looks complicated, right? Don't be upset. We are going to consider only this part first. So let's write it down. Now, this part has an exponent to 39, right? Power of 39. So we're going to write that as, that's equal to... <clears throat> 1 plus 1 over 39 times 1 plus 1 over 39 and so on like this till 39 times just write it like that and so on you will have again 1 plus 1 over 39 times again you will have 1 plus 1 over 39 times 1 plus 1 over 39 and so on till and at the end you have 1 over 39 now what can we do you have uh, you have written it split it into these terms now for these kind of questions how how will you deal these kind of questions now to deal these kind of questions we can change the denominators in each brackets so how can we write it each brackets we can write it 39 as 2 then 3 and so on see let's write it down as 1 plus 1 over 2 then times 1 plus 1 over 3 then and so on you have all right now 1 plus 1 over 2 the first term I have written as 1 plus 1 over 2 the second term as 1 plus 1 over 3 and so on 
and then you will have 1 plus 1 over 38. 1 over 38 as 37th term. And this term is the 37th term. 37th term. Then you have 38th term. And then you have 39th term. 37th term can be written as 1 plus 1 over 38. Because you started with 2. You didn't start with 1. 1 over 38. Then 38th term will be same. 1 plus 1 over 39. And what about the 39th term? Will it be 1 plus 1 over 40? But 1 plus 1 over 40 will be greater than 1. Now see, 1 plus 1 over 39 is less than 1 plus 1 over 2. And again, 1 plus 1 over 39 is less than 1 plus 1 over 3. And it is less than 1 plus 1 over 38. And it's equal to 1 plus 1 over 39. But it is greater than 1 plus 1 over 40. So you cannot write, so we cannot compare the term with 1, right? So we cannot write the last term as 1 plus 1 over 40. We have to write it as the same, 1 plus 1 over 39, and then times we have 1 over 39. All right, now as you have written this, you can see 39 is greater than 2, it's greater than 3, and till here it's until here it's greater than 38 it's equal to 39 then. now when you compare this whole term when you see 1 plus 1 over 39 is lesser than this term 1 plus 1 over 39 it is lesser than this term then this th 37th term 1 plus 1 over 39 is lesser than this term so again this is lesser than this term 1 plus 1 over 39, 38th term is equal. Now that's equal. These two terms are equal. Equal to this term. 1 plus 1 over 39 uh, is equal to this term. This term is equal to this term. This term is equal to this term. And 1 over 39 is equal to this term. So all these terms are lesser. All these terms are lesser than these terms. And the last three terms, 1, 2, three are equal to these terms all right so what can you say these terms these term is completely smaller it's completely smaller than this term so you can even write it as this term can be written as <clears throat> when you have two plus one over two so that's three over two right three over two then you will have 3 plus 1 over 3 that's 4 over 3 then you can have 5 over 4 and so on till you reach here you have uh, 38 plus 1 39 over 8 38 and then you can have 40 over 39 then you will have again 40 over 39 why because you have 39 plus 1 40 over 39 again you have 40 over 39 and then you have 1 over 39 so you can write it as 1 over 39 now as you can see you can cancel out the terms 3 3 4 4 5 5 38 38 39 39s. now you have 40 times 40 and 2 times 39 times 39 so you can write it as 40 times 40 and 2 times 39 times 39. Now, if you see 40 times 40 is much smaller than 2 times 39 times 39. So this whole term is lesser than 1. Even you can write it as 40 square over 2 times 39 square. So this whole term is lesser than 1. Now, when you check this term is lesser than 1 so what what can you say when that term is lesser than 1 that fraction is lesser than 1 you already told if this is lesser than 1 this is lesser than this so most probably 40 over 39 is lesser than 39 over 40 that is your answer so if 
this was helpful don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for joining if you have any suggestions you can write it in the comment box and um, thank you so much take care bye bye have fun